kids come forward for a special message. It's great to see you kids. Uh, I got a Bible message for you. Uh, let's see here. I'm a little disorganized uh, today. I've got all these things for you for your me- message, but I haven't got them all in the box yet. Um, I'm having a great deal of trouble here. Hmm. Yeah, oh. Can, can we put these things in the box? Can you help me? Each of these things goes in the box, okay? Can you take something and put it in the box? There you go. Oh, thank you. I was so tired. You helped me. Oh. There you go. All right. Go back to your seats, if you will. I, now I'm finally ready. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping me put these things in the big box. You know what? What you did reminds me of one of our Bible lessons for today. The Apostle Peter was praying one day, and all of a sudden he heard a voice in his heart, in his heart, telling him to help other people. And that's what you just did. You helped me. You heard a voice asking you to help me, Jen's voice, and you responded to that voice. You helped me a lot. Thanks. Now, sometimes God talks to us through other people, like through Jen today, or sometimes it's a voice that only our heart can hear. Can you put your hand on your heart? Sometimes we see someone in need, close by or someone we don't know, and a voice inside, a voice from God to our heart, tells us to offer to help that person. And we feel so good, don't we, after we've helped another kid or helped our mom or dad or sister or brother. We feel so good about it. So let's look for ways to help others. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I'm thankful for the kids who helped me today. And we need to help each other all the time. We're thankful that we are helped, we kids. But help us to share the love you have inside of us and help others and serve others. Give them a boost. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.